Hello and welcome students to the section 2 of ethical hacking course which is network scanning and information gathering techniques. So in this section we are going to take a look at various points for example we are going to learn about network footprinting right and then we will learn about how you can detect network footprinting techniques right and then later in the video parts we are going to learn about scanning a network means network scanning techniques and then finally we will learn about detection of network scanning. So we are here at the first video of second section which is various network footprinting techniques. So in this section we are going to learn about various footprinting techniques inside networks. So we will learn about uh, the techniques related to information gathering on footprinting and as well as we are going to use a footprinting tool right which is available inside windows as well as in Kali Linux right. So uh, that we are going to cover in this video. So we are first of all going to learn about network footprinting right so network footprinting means gathering information about uh, hosts port number operating systems versions right what kind of operating system the target is using what kind of uh, host or the ip address is running in the target system that we are going to learn right and uh, the tools are also available like nmap zenmap ip scanners these tools are already available inside kali linux as well as in windows operating system so we are going to use them as well right so network footprinting means to gather information about network as much as possible right so this will help us to find out information about the target right so that we can proceed further all right and uh, as you already know that nmap zenmap are the very popular tool in kali linux and the work of these tools is to find out open ports in the target system right this is the work of nmap and zenmap and the work of ip scanner is to find out the ip addresses or the host in a network so uh, that we are going to learn in this video right so nmap is very popular tool right and uh, it is considered one of the best port scanners in the world right in my opinion nmap is one of the best tools for information gathering right and uh, it is already available in Kali Linux but in Windows operating system you need to download it and uh, you need to install it. So first of all I'm going to show you inside Kali Linux that uh, how we can use nmap inside Kali Linux. You can see that I have Kali Linux open and I have Windows 7 open right. So I have two machines open on VMware workstation. So basically we are going to use nmap here which is already available in Kali Linux and it is a command line tool. So and nmap actually have so many commands right for scanning purpose so to do that first of all uh, you need to open the terminal click on that and uh, open the terminal right and uh, let me zoom it for you all right so what we are going to do first of all we need to find out the ip address of our target system which is windows ip address so type ip config in the command prompt and you can see that this is the ip address of windows operating system that we are going to use inside nmap to find out information about the target system. So to do that you can simply type nmap space dash capital F which is for fast scan or you can also say it is a quick scan right and uh, then you can type the IP address of windows operating system. So the IP address of windows system is 192.168.126.129 and dash F stands for fast scan or quick scan and after that uh, you need to simply hit enter and wait for the result so nmap has been started and here we go but you can see the results are here so first of all it has provided information about uh, the host which is up host is up means the windows machine is live and then it has provided information about the port numbers various port numbers are here right so nmap provides us information about port numbers that's why it is called the port scan now let me clear this and now let me try another command which is nmap dash capital A space now the IP address of the windows operating system. So the work of dash capital A is to find out information about the operating system running in the target machine right so that that is the work of dash capital A. It is similar to dash capital O but by using dash capital A you will get more information so hit enter and check this so basically uh, it can take some time right because uh, it, first of all it will perform ping scan then it will perform port scan then it will provide you information about 
operating system running in the target system and then later it can provide us information about trace route so basically trace route is a a process in which we can find out that how many hopes or how many uh, points are between me and the target system right so this is the work of dash capital a dash capital a is also called aggressive scan right so uh, by using dash capital a we are getting each and every information of the target system so i think we got the result here let me go up and uh, here you can see that this was our command and first of all you can see that it is saying that host is up means the target system is up later it has provided information about the port number running inside the target system which you can see 135 139 which is net bios port number is also available 445 is available which is smb and some unreserved ports are also open in the target operating system and uh, this is the mac address you can see on the screen right this is the mac address of windows operating system let me come down and uh, here you will see the operating system running in the target system so if you take a look at then you can see here that in the target system windows 7 is running which is actually right so windows 7 is running in the target system right you can see here and uh, it is also providing information about service packs what service pack the windows using right so basically it can provide you kind of idea that what kind of the target is using let me come down and uh, some more information about uh, the port numbers right and uh, the users available and here it is you can see this is the trace route so the work of trace route is to find out number of hopes between me and the target system and uh, as there is only one hope in between me and the windows system which is actually windows operating system so that's why it is showing us the ip address of windows operating system here this all can be done by using dash capital a command which is called aggressive scan command right so let me close it and now let me show you another which is gui version of nmap so this is the tool which is called graphical user interface of nmap exactly similar like nmap differences nmap is command line it is a gui version so you can see here is the target and uh, profiles are available so put your target ip address there so our target is basically windows operating system so put the ip address of target operating system select the profile what you need for example if i want to do quick scan and click on scan button on the right hand side so you can see here that uh, we got the port numbers running in the target operating system which is actually windows operating system right and this can be done by using zenmap it's quite easy same results if you do nmap or zenmap you will get the same result no changes right so that's why generally the beginners use this gui version but uh, if you are professional then you need to use nmap you can also choose another profile here there are so many profiles tcp udp scan intense scan regular scan is also available you can choose regular scan where there is no filter in the regular scan right and quick trace route is also available dash dash trace route will be the command so if you click on scan then you can see here that you can also find information about trace route from here right so that's why nmap and zenmap are the best uh, information gathering or footprinting tools available in kali linux operating system and uh, in any kind of network project or web project the nmap and zenmap are generally used right so this is the speciality of these tools available so this is all about this video and in the